Ladies and gentlemen, Brett Crow. It's like theater. Hi. Hi. Well, we're here. I'm, I, I, am, I am super excited because uh, last week, you may have remembered, we did a sci-fi show. We, we almost got sued. We got some letters, and that was fun. Uh, but we missed a thing. For all of the great tropes of science fiction and, 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 and popular culture that we hit, we missed one. And I, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm sorry. I, I have to apologize because I thought we, we, we got them all. And then I went back over and I looked at the list. Well, and your you're going to pull my nerd. <laughs> Look at me. Really, it's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> that and these eyebrows. That's all I really have to work with at this point. So, um, but, but what we forgot was spoilers. Oh. We forgot spoilers. Right. And then I realized I had spoilers that I could share and so we could sort of do them this week and then just move on and it'd be cool, right? Yeah. Behold. Actually, it's, it's a hat box. But it has spoilers in it. Yeah. Like a race car? A spoiler hat? As a matter of fact, it is a spoiler hat. I am super excited about it. A quick, quick history lesson for those who came in late to the game. Um, these stupid things that we wear that say we're in charge here, uh, and, and the, the guys who, and the girls who, and everybody who wears them, except for Frankie who gets to wear whatever she wants because she's <laughs> running tech and we don't, we don't argue with her because she's mean and she throws knives. Um, <laughs> but we, we started out, uh, the reason why we have these is when my first performing costume, when I first started, started performing with people was a vest and, and a hat and funny socks, but the, we got rid of the funny socks because TJ and a couple of other guys came in and said, we have more fashion sense than you. <laughs> they were right. And so everybody found their own way to sort of express this look, and it became the look of our roustabouts. And, and we still perform wearing them sometimes, but it became a thing that the hat became a very meaningful symbol. And then we just got a new show. You guys know in about two weeks on May 22nd, we're going to be launching our first dinner theater show called Salma Gundi. Please, please come because it's, be, it's going to be mental. But we realized, new show, new hat. Yes, no, same old box, new hat. We can't afford extras. At least, at least the show's not going to be old hat. Right, well, no, it's, really some of the jokes are really old. Okay. What's really cool, though, is it's our, it's our hat. Yeah, that's a sticker. No, well, yes, yes, it does a very specific hat trick. Um, to explain, because I should explain before I present the hat, otherwise we don't have context. Um, the hat is a character in the show. You see, here, I'm, I'm a character in the show. I'm the host. My name's Russ. How are you? How are you? You already know me. You're a character outside the show, too. Also true. <laughs> Also true. But I do a lot of this here. Yeah. And I'm lo yeah, thanks. <laughs> we know. <laughs> so did the robots last week. It wasn't all me in my defense. But we do, you know, I, I do a lot of talking. We introduce the show. And the MC character is a necessary, uh, I'll say evil, uh, evil of the show because without it, you just kind of just stand there. And going into a new show, I thought it would be a lot of fun for more than just me to get that voice. And more importantly, I also want to be able to do some stuff other than this. And that's when we hit upon the idea of bringing a new character into the show. I have really oversold this hat. <laughs> well, well it's, it's, it's sort of... Well, it's, it's a sort of hat. It is, it is a magic hat. That you've been keeping under your hat. Until now. Under, it's an expression. It means I've been keeping it secret. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Spoilers. Exactly my point. We forgot spoilers and now we're doing them. See, uh, we've come full circle. 
So I have a spoiler for you. I thought since not only will you get to see this in two weeks, but down the road as we bring new performers into Salmagundi because we train them here and then we take them there, I thought I would show you the hat that you might even end up wearing someday. That sound is a bunch of people who were hired to care. Awesome. Okay, so here we go. Drum roll would be awesome. No, nah, it's distracting. It's distracting. I'm sorry, it's, distra it's really distracting. Now there's like no build up. Go back to it. Well, that's a good addition. Oh, that was you! <laughs> I was like, I didn't know it did that! This never ends well. <laughs> Ladies and, and gentlemen, I introduce you to the ringmaster of Salmagundi. <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but let me tell you, if you're wearing this, you're in charge. So, come see us in two weeks, but most of all, I wanted to share it here because it's a behind-the-scenes thing. It is a spoiler, as promised. Yeah, and, and spoiled. Yes. And, and most of all, we learned everything we're going to do in this new show, we learned here at the open stage. Thank you. Woo!